Discover the chilling truth behind Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370's final moments in an all-new documentary. National Geographic's Drain the Ocean series delves into the ocean's captivating secrets, unveiling a handful of clues about the mysterious disappearance of the jet. Welcome to the Aviation Chronicles. Subscribe and let's dive in. With exclusive access granted to Perth-based Electric Pictures, this groundbreaking episode takes you on an extraordinary journey alongside experts from the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. Using cutting-edge technology and scientific data, witness digital recreations that unravel the world's biggest aviation enigma. Brace yourself for a riveting exploration of MH370's fate. The spine-chilling moment MH370 seemingly vanishes, leaving experts baffled. The plane's defense radar captures an eerie turn back across Malaysia, veering northwest through the Strait of Malacca and mysteriously vanishing from civilian radar just north of Sumatra. But brace yourself for a shocking revelation. MH370 didn't crash it continued to fly undetected. Aviation expert Captain John Cox expresses the profound uncertainty surrounding the situation, leaving all possibilities open, from terrorism to deliberate actions by crew members or electrical system failures. Embarking on a relentless quest for answers that would span years as the world grapples with the inexplicable and the search for truth unfolds. In a remarkable turn of events, MH370's signals to a satellite above the Indian Ocean became the key to unlocking the plane's mysterious journey. Although radar lost sight of the aircraft, these hourly signals provided crucial data for experts to calculate its direction of travel. Astonishingly, it was revealed that MH370 had turned south and continued to fly for six more hours. Using the fuel load and cruising speed, investigators recreated various possible flight paths based on these signals. This breakthrough shifted the search zone about 500 kilometers south of the last radar contact, now under the jurisdiction of the Australian government. The search honed in on the elusive final arc, the seventh arc, nestled deep in the vast Indian Ocean taking the quest for answers to an unprecedented level of complexity. In their quest to unlock the mysteries of MH370, a dedicated team from Curtin University in Western Australia utilized cutting-edge hydrophones, sensitive underwater microphones positioned strategically along the Australian coast to monitor a diverse range of sounds, from earthquakes to wildlife. Astonishingly, one particular hydrophone captured an intriguing noise approximately one hour and 14 minutes after the plane's last communication with the Inmarsat satellite. The underwater acoustician, Dr. Alec Duncan, delved into the data with curiosity, finding a signal that displayed intriguing characteristics. The question that loomed was captivating. Could this be the sound of MH370 striking the water upon its vanishing act? Seeking more audio clues, the researchers examined other records and made a captivating discovery. The exact noise was also detected off the coast of Cape Leeuwin, Western Australia, by a listening post established by the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization to spot and pinpoint illegal nuclear tests. This listening post employed three hydrophones, arranged to determine the direction of the sounds within half a degree and calculate the distance to the source. Astoundingly, they concluded that the noise emanated from the northwest. However, this tantalizing clue led them far beyond the current search area, making it seemingly irrelevant. Despite this setback, the team remained thorough and meticulous in their investigation. Dr. Duncan clarified, Our conclusion was the signal was most likely of geological origin, 
such as a small undersea earthquake, but we can't completely rule out the possibility that it came from something to do with the aircraft. Venturing on a daring new strategy, investigators delved deep into the ocean depths with cutting-edge sonar scans, unveiling a never-before-charted seascape. Unveiling a rugged terrain adorned with cliffs rivaling the Empire State Building's height, colossal canyons and dotted with volcanoes, the search became a labyrinth of complexities. Amidst this pursuit, a game-changing revelation surfaced, guiding their path. Scrutinizing the Inmarsat satellite data, experts deduced the plane's rapid descent strongly indicating fuel exhaustion as the cause. Boeing engineers then staged a crucial simulation, reenacting a Boeing 777's fuel depletion, uncovering the haunting final moments of MH370's Enigma. The right engine faltered first, prompting the autopilot to execute a hard left turn to compensate. Minutes later, the second engine flamed out, leaving the plane in a harrowing, long spiral descent. Narrowing the search area from 745,000 to 37,000 square kilometers, every Boeing simulation zeroed in on a crash site within 46 kilometers of the seventh arc. Amidst their meticulous exploration of 80 locations, sonar detected a debris field resembling a possible wreck site in May 2015. Up-close investigation using the drain the ocean technique revealed a fascinating find. A shipwreck adorned with chains, a seven-meter-long metal box, rusted machinery, and three metal anchors. Yet, the elusive MH370 remained elusive, as exhaustive scanning of the entire 37,000 square kilometer search area yielded no trace of the missing plane. Reluctantly, they concluded it was not within this zone. The relentless investigation persisted, armed with two key pieces of evidence – Boeing's flight performance data and Inmarsat records. Then, a ray of hope dawned in July 2015 as a third crucial piece of information emerged, breathing new life into the quest for answers. In a remote island nearly 5,000 kilometers away from the initial search zone, a vital clue emerged when a flapperon from the plane's wing washed up on the shores of Reunion Island. Boeing's confirmation of the serial number matched that of MH370 sent ripples through the investigation. Enter Blaine Gibson, an amateur wreck hunter, driven by a noble mission to provide answers to grieving families and unravel the MH37 enigma. His tireless journey took him to Mozambique, where he stumbled upon another piece of wreckage, bearing the words, no step, a staggering 7,000 kilometers from the main search area. Boeing once again confirmed this piece's origin. Fueling his determination, Mr. Gibson persisted, unearthing 15 more fragments along the western side of the Indian Ocean. Among them, a discovery that moved him profoundly. The case surrounding the back-of-seat TV screen, a poignant reminder of what passengers may have seen last. This revelation solidified that the plane met a forceful impact with the water. These items suggest a significant amount of energy during the aircraft's entry into the water, said Mr. Foley, opening up new lines of inquiry. Each find provided crucial pieces to the puzzle, inching closer to solving the MH370 mystery and offering solace to those longing for closure. As the investigation reached a critical point, the team honed in on three potential locations along the seventh arc where debris could have been carried towards Africa by ocean currents. This alignment was crucial as it matched CSIRO oceanographer David Griffin's calculation of the Flapperon's journey, a pivotal piece of evidence. Griffin's meticulous work involved recreating the Flapperon's trajectory across the ocean using a replica and ocean drifters, comparing its movement to known current data from the crash day. An extraordinary discovery unfolded, ruling out certain areas and pointing towards a new theory. 
Griffin pondered the absence of debris on Australia's shores, despite currents flowing in that direction. Historic drifter data provided insight, identifying three spots along the seventh arc where debris could be pushed towards Africa, potentially explaining the lack of findings on Australian beaches. The critical alignment between the calculated flapper on journey and one specific location led to a groundbreaking proposition. The crash site most likely lies at 35 degrees south, an area initially overlooked. However, the timing proved unfortunate as authorities suspended the search after nearly three years, leaving the proposed theory unexplored. The investigation had made strides, unraveling vital clues and eliminating possibilities. Yet, the elusive answers to MH370's fate remained veiled in mystery. Thank you for watching. Follow for more.